The PBA does not know what to do. Jason Belmonte is running scared. Why watch another video of him or professionals like him showing their elite skills when you can watch me suck at bowling? Welcome to week number two of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from the place you chose, the Brunswick Zone in Lowell, Massachusetts. Because of copyright issues, there's no intro, so it's just some stock footage. And again, I like to remind you that due to the darkness and other issues, I wound up aiming the camera a little off to the side, so it's not perfect. As it seems to be a trend on Watch Me Suck at Bowling, we were given lane 13 in which to play on. So let's just get to the action right now. Frame one, ball one. There will be camera switching between music videos to avoid copyright issues in that department. Anyway, here's the ball, there's the swing, and we take out seven. For those of you that like pin setters, here's the A2 clearing away the absolutely no dead wood. As for resetting the table, you'll see that during the score recaps. Ball two. Seven's not a bad start, but can we convert? Here's the throw. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. And it's a spare. Frame two ball, frame two ball one, I'll stick on the bonus ball. And we're filling in the spare. We know how that usually goes, no matter what the discipline. There goes the ball. It's off to the side. And we get three. Ball two. That definitely wasn't a good start. But what can we do with the second ball? Here it goes. There's the throw. Looking pretty good. And Brooklyn spare. We have a pretty good start so far. A spare in both frames and a lousy three fill from El Stinko the bonus ball in one. What will we get for two? So far, we're at 23. Frame three ball on El Stinko. Can we do better than three lousy points for a fill? Here we go. So far, so good. Then it goes off to the side and what do you know? Ball two. Yet another lousy three fill, courtesy of El Stinko the bonus ball. Here we go. Can we get a third spare? And the answer is no. Denied. Nine ain't too bad, though. Frame four, ball one. So far, that nine is the worst frame we've had. Here goes the ball. There's the delivery off to the left and nothing. There we go. Gutter ball that we've been waiting for. Ball two. So far, we've had no zero frames here, and we know in 10 pin that's a thing. But not this time. Looking pretty good. And picked up the spare. Or in candle pin, as we call it, the Emily. So far, the third frame is the only one without a mark. And we got a spare yet again in four. So far, we have a total of 45. Frame five, ball one, El Stinko. So what will the bonus be? Well, they've been pretty bad so far. And it looks pretty good. Wow, a seven. Not El Stinko. Ball two. A seven fill, not bad. Here we go. And looks all right. And another spare. Frame six, ball one, El Stinko. Another spare, another bonus ball. Will this be El Stinko as well? We're waiting for someone on the right to bowl as it's common courtesy. Now it's our turn. There goes the ball and it's looking pretty good. Wow, a nine for a fill, not bad. Ball two. A single pin all by itself, can we hit it? Probably not. Anyway, here's the attempt and definitely the answer is no. Still a nine. Frame five wasn't that bad. We got a spare and then a nine fill from frame six, which unfortunately is all we're getting. And we have a total of 80. Frame seven, ball one. 
So far, for me, it's not been a bad game. In general, it still sucks. There's the first ball. Roll off the side and... Oh, talk about denial. Ball two. That was just painful. Just barely didn't tip over. Anyway, we're aiming for it and we overcompensate. Nine is what we get. Frame eight, ball one. Finally, the music videos are over, so less camera switching. And we're waiting for her to take her turn as she just suddenly decided to go. Anyway, there's the throw. Off to the side. And a little bit of a split there. Ball two. We have a baby split on the right. Can we convert this? Here's the throw. Not too bad. And yes, we can. Another spare. Again, pair of frames that weren't too bad. A nine and seven, and then yet again, a spare and eight converting the split. So far, we have a 99 and going for bonus points. Frame nine, ball one, El Stinko. The bonus ball's been all over the place. Good, bad, and this one is the latter. A singleton. Ball two. Once again, El Stinko lift up to its name. So here comes the second ball. Hopefully that'll help. It doesn't look like too much. And a stink frame of three. Frame 10, ball one. Hopefully it can do better than a three. That was just plain bad. Anyway, here we go. Looking pretty good and denied. Ball two, new high. New high score isn't really saying much in the game of 10 pin but I take them as they come. Oh, just missed. The nine will stand. I know in a game of 10 pin, it still totally sucks, but hey, a new high score of 112. On top of that, barring any disasters like that 26 from Weymouth at Lanes, it looks like the high triple might also fall next game. And that concludes another episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. From the viewer's choice, the Brunswick Zone in Lowell, Massachusetts. Will the triple fall next time, barring any disasters as I've just mentioned? Let's see what happens. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.